Lester Morrisman during May Day celebrations at Bradgate Park in Newtown Linford, Leicestershire. Reuters Sajid Javid outside the Home Office in Westminster after he was appointed as the new Home Secretary. PA Celtic celebrate after winning they confirmed winning the Scottish Premiership by beating rivals Rangers 5-0 at Celtic Park. Action images via Reuters people release balloons outside Alder Hay Children's Hospital in Liverpool, following the death on Saturday morning of Alfie Evans, who was being treated at the hospital. The 23-month-old died at 2.30 a.m., parents Kate James and Thomas Evans said on Facebook. The youngster was at the center of a legal battle over his treatment that touched hearts around the world. PA U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, right, speaks with British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson, left, and Belgian Foreign Minister Didier Reinders, center, during a meeting of the North Atlantic Council at NATO headquarters in Brussels. NATO held its last major meeting in its old headquarters, with talks focused on strained ties with Russia, a fresh peace effort in Afghanistan and a new training mission for Iraq. APA protester wearing a mask depicting Facebook CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, flanked by two protesters wearing angry emoji masks protest outside Portcullis House in central London. Facebook CTO Mike Schroper appeared in front of British members of Parliament on the Digital, Culture, Media and Sports Select Committee in the wake of allegations that information on millions of its users was misused. EPA members of the military work in the Malthings shopping area, close to the bench where Russian former double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia were found critically ill seven weeks ago. The area around the bench where the couple collapsed is one of nine sites to be cleaned in an operation that is likely to take several months. Getty A statue in honor of the first female suffragette Millicent Fawcett is unveiled as Prime Minister Theresa May and Mayor of London Sati Khan look on during a ceremony in Parliament Square. The statue of women suffrage leader Millicent Fawcett is the first monument of a woman and the first designed by a woman, Turner Prize winning artist Gillian Waring Ope to take a place in Parliament Square. Getty Prince William arrives at the Linda Wing of St. Mary's Hospital with his children Prince George and Princess Charlotte after his wife Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, gave birth to a son. Reuters Kenya's Eliud Kipchoge crosses the finish line to win the men's elite race at the London Marathon 2018. Reuters Team England athletes during the Commonwealth Games Team England parade in Victoria Square, Birmingham. PA Varun Chopra of Essex during the Spec Savers County Championship Division 1 match between Essex and Lancashire at the Kelmsford County Cricket Ground. The game is being played in the warmest April temperatures in 70 years. Getty A young boy cools off in the fountains in Piccadilly Gardens in Manchester. Getty Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau takes a selfie with Mayor of London Sati Khan and New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern at City Hall in London, during the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. Discuss gender equality and issues affecting young people with London school children. PA Prime Minister Theresa May hosts a meeting with leaders and representatives of Caribbean countries, at 10 Downing Street on the sidelines of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. AFP, Getty and Eric Thomas, the first baby to be born on the NHS, addresses the Unison Health Conference at the Brighton Centre PA Sir Patrick Stewart addresses the crowd during the People's Vote campaign launch on Brexit at the Electric Ballroom in Camden Town. PA Prime Minister Theresa May gives a press conference at Downing Street following British military action, alongside US and France, against Syria. British jets fired missiles at a Syrian military base suspected of holding chemical weapons ingredients. AFP, Getty Images England's Katarina Johnson-Thompson celebrates after winning the heptathlon with compatriot and bronze medal winner Neve Emerson during the 2018 Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast in Australia. AP Quaker Alan Pinch makes tea for passers-by as he holds a protest in Manchester against UK military intervention in Syria. Getty A man pulls the flowers down from a fence opposite the house of Richard Osborne Brooks in South Park Crescent in Hither Green, London. The shrine has become an unlikely flashpoint of tensions between the grieving family and his neighbors since last week's incident where burglar Henry Vincent was killed by Richard Osborne Brooks at his house. P.A. Jonathan Powell, Lord John Alderdice, Lord David Trimble, Sir Reg MP, Lord Paul Murphy of Top a and and Front Row Left to Right, Professor Monica McWilliams, Seamus Mallon, former Tasha Bertie Ahern, Senator George Mitchell and Jerry Adams, at an event to mark the 20th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement, at Queen's University in Belfast. P.A. The Mayor of London, Sati Khan and Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn gestured during the launch of Labour's local election campaign in central London. AFP, Getty Hungarians queue to vote in their country's general election, in central London. 
Reuters Orthodox Jews show support for a protest outside Downing Street in London, after at least nine Palestinians were shot and killed by the Israeli army at the Gaza-Israel border. Rex Charlie Tanfield of England celebrates winning gold in men's 4,000m individual pursuit finals, alongside Scottish silver medalist John Archibald and New Zealand's Dylan Kennett with the bronze at the 21st Commonwealth Games in Australia. EPA tributes for Ray Wilkins outside Stamford Bridge. The former Chelsea and England midfielder, who won 84 caps for his country, died in hospital on Wednesday morning following a cardiac arrest last Friday. PA Alistair Brownlee, flag bearer of England, arrives with the team during the opening ceremony for the Gold Coast 2018 Commonwealth Games at Carrara Stadium. Getty police at the scene where a 16-year-old boy was shot on Monday evening and left in a critical condition in Mark House Road in Walthamstow, East London. PA roads are cleared in Nenthead, Cumbria, as five weather warnings are in place as heavy rain and snow affect swaths of the country on Easter Monday. Getty former Spitfire pilot squadron leader Alan Scott, 96, prepares to fly as a passenger in a Spitfire watched by Mary Ellis, 101, the oldest surviving member of the Air Transport Auxiliary Wing who flew over 400 Spitfires during the Second World War, as part of the RAF 100 commemorations at Biggin Hill Airport. PA The cortege arrives at Great St. Mary's Church, where the funeral of theoretical physicist Professor Stephen Hawking is being held, in Cambridge. Reuters A wooden cross is carried up Round Hill in Bath, Wiltshire, where several Christian church congregations take part in the walk of witness to imitate the journey that Jesus took carrying his cross through the streets of Jerusalem on Good Friday. PA Prime Minister Theresa May meets a local parents and toddler group at St Andrew's Head and on the Wall, COFE Primary School during a tour of the UK time to coincide with one year to go until Britain leaves the European Union. May is on a tour with a promise to keep the country, strong and united, one year before Brexit. WPA Pool, Getty Catalan Independent Supporters protest outside Edinburgh Sheriff Court, where Clara Ponzotti is appearing. The pro-independence Catalan politician handed herself to Scottish Polis as she is being sought by the Spanish government, who have accused her of violent rebellion and misappropriation of public funds. Getty Jacob Rees-Mogg speaks about Brexit at a Leave Means Leave event at Carlton House Terrace, London. PA The coffin of Kenneth White, and RAF veteran who died with no known family, is carried into Cambridge City Crematorium ahead of his funeral. A Facebook appeal was launched for people to attend the funeral of Mr. White, who died at the age of 84. Over 100 strangers turned up to his funeral. PA The unveiling of Project 84, to represent the 84 men who commit suicide per week in Britain, 84 individual sculptures are placed on roofs, 12 of the sculptures are positioned on the roof of the This Morning studio and the remaining 72 are standing on the roof of the ITV studio's tower. A TV, Rex Cambridge men and women celebrate together after their double victory over Oxford in the 2018 boat race. Getty Michel Barnier kisses Theresa May's hand as they arrive at the EU summit in Brussels. Rex emergency services workers lay flowers and pay their respects at Parliament Square in Westminster on the anniversary of the Westminster Bridge attack in London. Reuters The fishing for leave boat passes the Houses of Parliament on the River Thames, during a protest where fish were discarded into the Thames. PA houses sit on the cliff edge on the Merrams in Hemsby, as 13 homes on the sandy cliffs have been evacuated amid fears they could topple into the sea, with further high tides and strong winds forecast. The residents of the properties in Norfolk were forced to leave over the weekend, Great Yarmouth Borough Council said. PA activists show their support outside of Kelmsford Crown Court for the Stansted 15, a group prosecuted under terrorism-related charges after blocking a mass deportation charter flight in April 2017 William Pryor Sadiq Khan, Amelda Stunton, Gloria Hennifer at the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade in London. Rex fans make their way through a snow shower to Molyneux Stadium ahead of the Skybet Championship match between Wolverhampton Wanderers and Burden Albion. Amber warnings for snow and ice have been issued by the Met Office ahead of a cold snap dubbed the Mini Beast from the East. PA Britain's Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson and the Polish Foreign Minister Jacek Czaputowicz visits a Battle of Britain bunker at RAF Northolt in Uxbridge. Reuters Britain's Prime Minister Theresa May talks with Wiltshire Policy's Chief Constable Keir Pritchard as she is shown the police tent covering the bench in Salisbury, where former Russian double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia were discovered on March 4, following an apparent nerve agent attack. Britain expelled 23 Russian diplomats over the nerve agent poisoning and suspended high-level contacts, including for the World Cup on March 14. 
Theresa May told Parliament that Russia had failed to respond to her demand for an explanation on how a Soviet-designed chemical, Novichok, was used in Salisbury. AFP, Getty A man prepares to lay flowers outside Gonville and Keyes College, at Cambridge University following the death of British physicist, Stephen Hawking, who was a fellow of the university for over 50 years. The flag over the college flew at half-mast as students and academics came to pay tribute after his death. AFP, Getty the crowd looks on during Cheltenham Festival Champion Day. Rex a police officer on duty near a protective tent which covers the bench where a man and woman were apparently poisoned with what was later identified as a nerve agent, in Salisbury. AFP, Getty